Hello everyone, this is Poojita from Talent Battle. In this video, we are going to solve the sample questions for Goldman Sachs examination. As you already know, Goldman Sachs is going to hire 2025 batch students. This video will help you to prepare for that. We are going to solve the sample questions provided by the company itself. So let's see the questions from numerical computations. So let's start. The HCF of two numbers P and Q is 117 and their sum is 1989. If L and M are the maximum and minimum differences between P and Q respectively, find the value of L and M, uh, L minus M. They're asking what is the value of L minus M. So there are two numbers which is going to have the sum mass. Uh, the sum of the numbers is 1989 and the HCF of the numbers is given as 117. Now there, uh, we do not know what are the numbers. There can be so many possibilities for this. We need to identify what are the numbers and the maximum difference between the numbers is L and the minimum difference between the numbers is M that they has given. Maximum difference is L and the minimum difference is M. And they are asking us what is the value of L minus M. See, for suppose, uh, let us take the sum of the numbers is 10 and the HCF of the numbers is 2. Let us take. Uh, so what are the fates that are possible? We can say 2 and 8, sum is 10 and the HCF is 2. 4 and 6 is also possible. Sum is uh, 10 and the HCF is 2. That's it. 8 and 2 is also same. Now look here. If I take these two numbers, the difference is 6. Between these two, the difference is 6. And if I take these two numbers, the difference is 2. So the maximum difference can be 6 and the minimum difference can be 2 also. So there will be some pairs of numbers like this. Okay, so first we should identify what are those pairs. In that, L is the maximum difference between the numbers. And M is the minimum difference between the numbers. And how do we solve? How do we approach? Actually, if you have a little bit idea about LCM and HCF, there are various methods to solve this kind of question. So, let's solve the question now. That is just the explanation. Before example I took is just the explanation. Now, always remember, if there are two numbers, numbers will be definitely a multiple of HCF itself. That means you can see the first number as 117x and second number as 117 into some y. Numbers should always be definitely a multiple of HCF only. Whatever the HCF is there, that multiple itself. Okay. Now, for suppose, uh, if I say you HCF is 5, then the numbers will be 5x and 5y like this. So I has written this. They clearly told the sum of the numbers is 1,989. Uh, so if I add both of them, means 117x plus 117y should be equal to 1989. That implies value of x plus y will be how much? 1989 divided by 117. 117 if it comes this side. So let's divide it, 1989 divided by 117, it will give you approximately 17. 17, okay? So the sum of x plus y should be 17. So x plus y should be 17. Now, we need to identify the difference between these two numbers, the difference. How can we identify the maximum difference? If we want to get the maximum difference, x and y uh, gap should be more. For suppose, x plus y is 17 x plus y is 17. The highest gap where we can get when x is 1 and y is 16. This is one possibility. You can even take 16 and 1 also. 1 and 16 is the only possibility because if I take x as 0, a will be 0. 0 you cannot take. So 1 and 16 is the mini a maximum gap we will get here. So let us substitute for suppose x is uh, 1 then a value will be 117. And uh, B value will be 117 into 16, right? 117 into 16, which is 1872. So how much is the difference between them? Value of L will be equal to 1872 minus 1000, sorry, 117, which is 1000, 
755. This will be the value of L. This is the maximum difference we can get because A cannot be reduced more than 170. And what is the maximum values they can take? That is 9 and 8. 8 and 9 also you can take. It is no problem. We are just identifying the difference between them. 9 and 8 itself, maximum. Both of them should be the maximum possibilities. Maximum possibilities can be 9 and 8 only. If you write 10 and 7, 7 can be increased. 7 can increase to 8 and this can be 9 also. This is the maximum possibility we can write. So let's uh, check uh, that sum as well. So if for suppose a x is equals to 9, then 117 into 9. And this will be 117 into 8. So the difference between both of them will be nothing but 117. 117, if we write the differences between them, it's nothing but like this. Minus 117 into 8. So it's 117 into 1. If we take 117 as a common, so 117 is the minimum difference. Minimum difference will be 117 and the maximum difference can be 1755. 1755 can be the maximum and minimum is 117. So how much is the difference between them? 1638. Option C, 1638. So all you need to do is, this is all the explanation. You have no idea how to take this X, uh, X as 1 and 16 and 9 and 8. That's why this explanation happens. In your exam, you can directly write it in uh, one or two steps. You can directly take them. So it is first, the number should be in the form of HCM and their sum is 1989. So X plus Y value is 17. So substitute one maximum gap should be there and next one minimum gap should be there. So the maximum you can take is 1 and 16, the sum is 17 and the minimum 9 and 8. If I substitute, those will be the values of L and M. So the differences between both of them is 1638. Uh, 1638, the difference between both of them. So this is the concept by using HCF. HCF, option C is the correct answer. Now a question from log. Whenever we have log, there are various formulas we apply for log. Now, they give log pi base 70 is equal to A. And log 7 base 70 is equal to B. Now, they are asking us to find out the value of log 70 base 16. Okay, base 16 should be there. Fine. So, everywhere, uh, I just make sure the base... Uh, should somehow make 70. Mm. I can say everything. It's A minus B, A minus B, A minus B, A minus B. Maybe A plus B also they has taken and they has converted. Okay. First, let's apply this formula. Log uh, M plus log N is equals to log M into N. There is a formula. This is log M plus log N is equals to log M into N. Now, what I'm doing, I'm just going to add A plus B, A plus B. So, I will get it as log 5 base 70 plus log 7 base 70. So, I can say this as log M plus N. Bases are same. M plus N means M into N. 7 into 5, 35 base 70. Why am I taking addition here? Because 5 into 7 will give us 35. If I add them, uh, here I can multiply them. That will give me 35. 35 can be easily written in the form of 70. If I take division or uh, if I take subtraction, I will not be able to find any formula by using it. Now, I know A plus B is equal to this. Now, can I say 35 as log uh, 70 divided by 2, 70 divided by 2 base 70, log 35 can be written like that, 35, I'm just writing 35 as 70 by 2, I did not change anything, 35, I just wrote it as 70 divided by 2, 70 divided by 2 is nothing but 35, it's very easy for us, that's why I wrote, now this one, there is one more formula, log m by n is equal to log m minus log n. So I'm going to apply this. Now I can say this as log 70 base 70 minus log 2 base 70. 
okay now log a base a is always equals to 1 so this if this both base and the number is same it's always equal to 1 means a plus b is equal to 1 minus log 2 base 70 okay so this i got now can i say this as log 2 base 70 is equal to 1 minus a minus b so this will go this side and when this comes this side both of the symbols will become negative so this i got why am i writing like this is because if you observe we have the base 16 16 can be easily written in the form of 2 that's why i'm trying to uh, make uh, something out of 2 here now until here uh, i hope you all understood now there is uh, various formulas we can even apply one more formula log a base b is equal to 1 by log b base a if we write it to the denominator we can actually uh, reverse like this so i can say 1 by log 70 base 2 or uh, yeah let's not write like this because maybe base in the numerator will only help us ah uh, yeah let's multiply this equation with 4 on both the sides so 4 into log 2 base 70 is equal to 4 into 1 minus a minus b now if the, here it is there log a to the power of n is equal to n log a if it's in the power it can go to the front or if it is in the front it can go to the power now this can go to the power so this can go here so that becomes 16 so log 16 base 70 is equals to 4 into 1 minus a minus b now i will use this formula so if this goes to the denominator it will be base 16 is equals to 4 into 1 minus a minus b now what is the value of log 70 base 16 if it goes this side and this this side it will be nothing but 1 divided by 4 into 1 minus a minus b so what is the answer option b option b so make sure that you write somehow in the form of 2 because 16 can be easily written as 2 to the power of 4 5 into 7 is 35 that is the only easiest thing for us to do 35 can be written as 70 by 2 and we can write it like this then we multiply with 4 on both the sides then 4 can go to the power once 4 goes to the power we can apply this formula to reverse both of them because we want 16 in the base that's why i'm going to convert uh, i'm going to apply this formula now and then we get the value option b there are four students a b c and d each having certain amount of money the average amount with them is 300 rupees we all know the formula average is equals to sum divided by the number always write in the form of sum it's very easy for us to calculate the problems so i can say sum is equals to average into number so instead of writing average everywhere i will directly take sum now they clearly told us average is 300 so can i say a plus b plus c plus d is equals to sum sum is how much number into the average 300 into 4 number is 4 so 12 and 1200 so the total amount with them will be 1200 if the amount with a and b are increased by 20 on 30% respectively so a is increased by 20% means for a 20% of a will be added means it will become 1.28 and b will become 30% is added for b b plus 30% of b which is 1.3 b and c and d remains the same then the average is increased by 42.5 42.5 increase means what happens previously 300 now 42.5 increase means it will become 342.5 342.5 now how much will be the sum sum is 342.5 into 4 I already told you we are going to write everything in the form of sum itself. Sum is only very easy for us to do the problems. So let's write it only in the form of sum. Next, the average amount of them is increased by forty-two point five. 
Then instead of it, if A is increased by 30 and B by 10, if A by 30 and B by 10, means if A become 1.3A and B is 1.2B, and C and D remains the same, then the average is increased by 45 only. Means it will become 345. 345 into 4. Some means again 345 into 4. Means it will become 1080. Okay. Now, if the amount of C is 22.7 uh, or 27 percent is more than the amount of D, Find the amount of C. They are asking us what is the amount of C. And this we will use. First we will try to eliminate A and B by using these statements. Now what I can do. I can just uh, subtract these two equations. Or I can just say from. Uh, let's consider this is 1, 2 and 3. We can just subtract the equation. So what we will get. Uh, we can even do 3 minus 2 directly. Uh, or else let's write minus also I can take minus 0 0.1a plus 0 0.1b and this will get cancelled is equals to minus 10. If I remove minus I can say uh, let's take minus 0 0.1 common. So a minus b is equals to minus 10. So a minus b will be equal to 100. A minus b is equals to 100. But still, uh, we will not be able to solve just by using this. So, we need uh, some other equations. Maybe let's take this two. This two. So, we need to get the relation somehow between uh, A and uh, B. Two equations we should get. So, let's take this two. Let's write the differences between this two now. I wrote the differences between C and uh, 2 and 3. By using 2 and 3, we got this. Now, I am going to use 1 and 2. So, the differences, this will get cancelled. This will get cancelled. Now, this is more. So, from this, I am subtracting 1.2a minus a. 0.2a plus 0.3b is equal to. Here, the difference, which is 170. 1370 minus 1200, which is 170. Now, I know A minus B is equals to 100. We have this. So, let's multiply this with 0 0.2. 0 0.2 if I multiply. 100 into 0 0.2 is how much? It's 20. I multiplied this expression with 20. I'm just going to solve them to get the value of A and B. So, we calculated minus, plus and minus. So, this will get cancelled. 0.5B is equals to 150. So, value of B is equals to 300. If B is 300, A will be how much? A minus B is 100. So, A is equals to 400. If B is 300, A is 400. So, let us substitute A and B here in the first equation. If I substitute A and B in the first equation, I can say 300 plus 400, 700 plus C plus D is 1200. So, what will be the value of C plus D? 1200 minus 700, which is 500. Now, we got the expression of C and D. And we clearly know if the amount uh, with the C is 22.27% more than the amount with D. Means they are saying value of C is equals to D plus 22.27% is of D. And they are asking us what is the value of C right now. There is a concept in percentage. 1 by 11 is equals to 9.09%. Similarly, 3 by 11 will be 27.27%. Now, what I can do, instead of writing 27.27%, I can say it as 3 by 11. Means this is 3D by 11. That implies it will be 14D by 11. C will be 14D by 11. Or I can say D is equals to 11C by 14. Because I want to identify the value of C. So I directly wrote like this. So I know C is 11C. Uh, C is uh, D is 11C by 14. So let us just substitute it here. So let me make some space here to write down. This is just the subtraction between those two equations. I am just uh, eliminating it here. So, value of C plus D is equal to 11C by 14 is equal to 500. If I take the LCM as 14, 25C is equal to 500. So, value of C is equal to 
500 into 14 by 25, 25 and here 20. So what is the answer? 280. So value of C is equals to 280. Option C, uh, sorry, option A. By using these three equations, we need to get C plus D value. We need to eliminate A and B. You have three equations and C and D is common. So you can easily eliminate A and B. Eliminate A and B, C plus D, we will get it as 500. And then we know C is equal to 22.27% more than D. 22.27% means 3 by 11. So we substitute D plus 3 by uh, three by 11th of D. So value of C is equals to 14 D by 11. And D will be 11 C by 14 if I just send it that side. And we get the value of C by substituting it here. So what is the answer? Option A, 280. 280. Now, one more uh, question here. So, we need to identify the equation. So, uh, this is a different kind. Uh, maybe most of you might not know how to solve this. I'll tell you how do you do this kind of questions. If 5 and 6 are the vertex of uh, 6x minus 2y plus 7 is equals to 0. Uh, the equation of a diagonal of a square, then... Find the equation of the other diagonal of the square. We need to identify what is the equation of the other diagonal of the square. So, we need to actually identify the per, uh, perpendicular uh, slope actually, equation of the perpendicular. So, what we do, whatever the equation is given, 6x six, six minus 2y plus 7 is equals to 0, write it in the form of y is equal to m1x plus b. Write it in this format. Y is equal to. Write it in the form of Y is equal to. Now, for suppose, let us send 2Y this side. So, I can say 2Y is equal to 6X six, six plus 7. So, what will be Y? Y is equal to uh, 3X plus 7 by 2. 7 by 2. So, 2 will be divided for both of them. So, 6 by 2 is 3 and 7 by 2 is. Uh, instead of taking it as 3.5, I just took like this. Now, this is the value of m. y is equal to 3x plus 7 by 2. This is the value of m and this is the value of b here. Okay. But we don't consider this b. What we are supposed to find out, we just want this m value. m value. So, m1 is equal to 3. You need to find out something called m2. And remember... Uh, M1, for suppose if M1 is equals to A by B, M2 should be equal to minus B by A. Because if you do M1 into M2, it should be minus 1. Okay, so if M1 is A by B, M2 should be the reciprocal and negative symbol. It should be the inverse of it and negative symbol. So M2 here should be minus 1 by 3. M1 is 3 by 1, so M2 should be minus 1 by 3. Now, we need to find out y is equal to m2x plus b. There will be a different constant. This constant is different. For this equation, constant is different. Just write it in the form of y. Find out the value of m1. By using m1, find m2. Now, substitute m2 here. y is equal to minus, uh, minus x by 3 plus b. Now, to get the value of b, we are going to substitute the vertex 5 and 6. X value is 5, Y value is 6, X comma Y is 5 comma 6. So 6 is equal to minus X by 3. X is nothing but 5, we got it. Let's substitute X also as 5. Plus B, that implies value of B is equal to 6 plus 5 by 3. If it comes this side, it will become 6 plus 5 by 3. If it comes this side. So how much is, the, uh, how much is this value? Now 6 plus 5 by 3. We can write it like 6, 18, 18 plus 5, 23 by 3. So this is 23 divided by 3. So value of B also we got. So we need this expression now. So we know value of B right now. We know value of M2 also. So just substitute Y is equal to M2 minus 1 by 3X. And how much is the value of B? We got 23 by B, uh, 3. We need to find out value of B and you need to find out M2. To find out M2, what you do? You substitute the equation in the form of Y, get M1. Reciprocal with a negative symbol. If it is negative, just become positive. In opposite symbol, you can say. 
okay reciprocal with the opposite symbol is m2 then substitute this values to get value of b so we got b now if i send 3 this side 3y is equal to minus x plus 23 so let's send this also this side so x plus 3y minus 23 is equals to 0 so what is the other perpendicular one the another diagonal of the square, it is x plus 3y minus 23 is equals to 0. x plus 3y minus 23 is equals to 0. So option A, whenever they give you one equation and they ask you for the other one, you should find out the value of m2 and d. It's not so difficult. You just don't know how to do that. You need a little bit one or two problems. If you practice, you can easily understand. Whatever the equation is given, write it in the form of y. Find out the quotient, coefficient of x which is nothing but m1. By using m1 we get m2. And now if we substitute m2 and this uh, vertex which is given we get the value of b. Then this is our expression y is equal to mx plus b. And we write it in the form of a normal equation. x plus 3y minus 23 is equal to 0. So I hope you understood the questions that we discussed in this video. For more videos like this, you can follow our channel. And for more off-campus updates, you can join our social media platforms like WhatsApp group, Telegram groups and Instagram page. The links for all of them are in the description box. Thank you.